the Global Green Growth Institute, working with developing countries to achieve poverty reduction and inclusive, sustainable economic growth. Ethiopia is one of the fastest growing economies in the world and one of the most ecologically and culturally diverse countries. While Ethiopia has managed to pull millions of people out of poverty over the last decade, the country's development is threatened by the impacts of climate change. Ethiopia is highly vulnerable to uh, climate change and has experienced disasters uh, in the past uh, three or five years in the decades. To combat these challenges and deliver sustainable growth, Ethiopia developed and launched its Climate Resilient Green Economy Strategy, or CRGE. The Ethiopian government is committed to achieving better living conditions for its people, whilst improving resistance to climate change and the extreme weather events it causes. Ethiopia aims to achieve the triple win of green, resilient and accelerated economic growth, leading to middle income status by 2025 through a green path of development. We cannot afford a type of development which is not sustainable, and we cannot also afford the type of development that affects ourselves as, as well as that affects any part of the world. So the conventional uh, growth path is not an option for us. Consequently for Ethiopia, green growth is more than a necessity. It is an opportunity to harness the renewable energy potential and stop agroecological degradation. GGGI's role, uh, as we are also a founder, the very initiative is very important in Ethiopian context. Uh, this is uh, an institution uh, who was uh, supporting Ethiopia from the very beginning on the design of a climate resilient green economy, particularly on the financing aspect. The CRGE has a vision of building a middle-income climate-resilient economy by 2025 with zero net greenhouse gas emissions from the 2010 level. GGGI uh, has a very critical role in Ethiopia in providing technical assistance, uh, both in analytical works that are required for the strategy itself, including uh, defining the details of the sector strategies in terms of green growth, in terms of resilience. The strategy was developed with the support of GGGI and its partners, namely the United Kingdom, Germany and Norway. We do see Ethiopia quite bold and quite uh, ambitious uh, plan of, of a green growth uh, path uh, as an example also for other African countries that will still have the, the opportunity to, to, to choose a, a rather green path. The Ethiopian government integrated the CRGE into its second growth and transformation plan in 2015, demonstrating Ethiopia's commitment to this new green development pathway. But then we went beyond that and also supported uh, the, the development of the guidelines for the integration of the climate and green economy strategy into the growth and transformation plan itself. Uh, so understanding that uh, climate action is not separate from the growth ambitions of the country. The CRGE aims to improve crop and livestock production, protect forests, deploy renewable and clean power generation, while also promoting leapfrogging technology for transport, industry and buildings. The next uh, benefit we hope people will benefit from is the introduction of efficient cookstores. Government is keen in first coming up with prototypes that are best suited to the local conditions in, in the different parts of the countries and then disseminating this. The strategy unlocks economic growth, job creation and the widespread delivery of economic benefits. The agriculture sector alone will allow yearly savings of 1 billion US dollars while increasing productivity up to 40 million heads of livestock. 
Sani ku projekti sani ku ni gara nu dowi gara gara kabatani le nu de mani jira konso ni nu de mani jira nu isani nu laci sani wa gara gara kan nu argisi sani jira le fa daga akati amu muka akati akai ni bila shof ne gorani da bani ashahilti gara gara takalani akati ojatan mulu de bani ni nu argisi sani ra en na kanal le mojotti nu wa mani asiti le wa gara gara nu argisi sani ra the industry sector can reach similar savings while also generating high potential for power exports through the increase of renewable power generation. We have supported about seven sectors such as uh, forest, agriculture, water, energy, transport, industry, uh, urban. To further the implementation of the CRGE, the Ethiopian government has taken various steps, including the building of strong institutions, such as the establishment of the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, the CRGE facility and the Environment and Climate Research Center. The CRGE facility has started financing actions on the ground that are already generating benefits in the field. Transitioning into green economy means that you will not be sacrificing your own resources that will be destroyed later on. This is a way which is future-oriented. This is a growth which has a benefit even today, and also it has a generational impact. The benefits of adopting this strategy would spread even beyond Ethiopia. It would be an example for other countries that green growth is a possible and achievable path. The implementation of the CRG strategy, especially at the sector level, is very much uh, contribute to the zero net increase in in uh, in, uh, in emissions in the very in the key CRG sector itself. Ethiopia is on the right trajectory to implement the CRGE's vision by 2025. With the support and joint effort of committed stakeholders, Ethiopia can become a green economy frontrunner and pave the way for other developing countries so that they can start their own green growth paths. Ethiopia has led uh, the world in integrating growth and transformation with climate action through a bold climate zero and green economy strategy. Let's stand behind it.